Francisca Brantner, MEP. We're here at a Fondation New Active stakeholder workshop where we're talking about youth policy and the, the, the correlation with regional policy. And you're involved in the intergroups in the European Parliament. Would you explain a little about your work there? Yeah, we formed the intergroup uh, youth for the first time this year together with colleagues of mine, young people across all the um, political parties in the Parliament. And our approach is to say that youth policies cannot just be confined to our to do committee that is really responsible for it, which is CULT, a culture committee, but that it's an issue that goes across all committees really. Um, I'm in a, uh, also in the budget committee. It's very important how much money we get for youth policies, um, but we also on social issues, it's very important on education. So for us, our approach is to bring together young people who work on youth issues, but not necessarily uh, just on this, I would say, the institutionalized use policy as, a, as it currently stands. Some of your work you were just telling me off-camera relates to mobility of youth internationally. Now this is commonly known for, the, for, the, for those of us in the policy world as Erasmus, but you're trying to, to help those that aren't studying as well, yeah. aren't you? Yes, I think that we have been doing a good job on Erasmus, even though I think even there we still need much more money and uh, facilities, etc. But I think we still have a vast majority of young people who are not studying, who also should have the opportunity to really go abroad. And we have pro uh, programs that have been started, like Leonardo da Vinci for apprentices, mm -hmm. but it's tiny. Like, seriously, we need many, many more young people in that area, or young... Um, farmers that can go also to another farm learn about new techniques uh, we need young entrepreneurs and there is um, these are all tiny programs so far but we want to enlarge them really make them significant and I think they should all run under the title of Erasmus the one is Erasmus for apprentices Erasmus for students sort of use that brand because the others have titles like Leonardo da Vinci that nobody knows but we want to make it known get funding for it um, and incite really young people uh, to go and live abroad and learn work whatever they want to do so the the aim then is to make these schemes much larger but also to make Erasmus larger as well so you have a, a wide variety of schemes all doing similar work, is that there? Exactly. The idea is really to guarantee every young person inside the European Union to spend at least two months in another European country, be it in in studying or working or learning uh, or doing volunteering work. We also, I think this is another compo uh, component of volunteer work in another EU country. So yes, this idea is to get another experience outside because we think it fundamentally changes somebody's lives when you lived abroad um, and it gives a different feeling for what the European Union is. Mm, I think that's very true. We can all agree with that here in Brussels, <laughs> can't we? So one last question then. You're also involved in the work of border policy for young people. Would you explain a little about that? It's not something that's very well known, I think. No, the idea is that especially in regions that have, um, like for example in my region, we have a border with France and in the south of Switzerland, which is not an EU member, but still it's very close. Um, and the idea is that you have common, for example, modules for traineeships, um, that you have uh, firms that work very well across the border, that they also allow that for the young people to move uh, much easily, uh, to have common training, etc. Uh, and therefore we need recognition of the training usually, which is very different from country to country. We need common institutes that work on this. So there's quite a lot that can be done in a region that is transfrontalier, as we say, that goes across borders, um, but which in the end is very small. So, and that's a good idea, which is different, I would say, from having a British student coming to Germany, um, which is also important. But I think, especially when you live so closely together, that there is an enhanced exchange.